Hi guys, welcome back to the Art of Server. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a solution to a problem I've had for quite some time. So you guys might recognize this. I've talked about this device in several of my videos in the past, but this is a uh, NVMe uh, M.2 PCIe adapter card from HP and it's called the HP Z Turbo Drive. The problem that I've had with these cards is that HP, for whatever reason, likes to use hard to find screw sizes. So you guys are probably familiar with mounting M.2, right? You put the SSD uh, electrical connectors in this slot and then usually there are like these mounting holes that uh, hold the M.2 SSD. So just to kind of show you guys, let me, all right, so here's an M.2 SSD. And so normally you plug it in here and there's usually a screw that uh, basically holds it down, right? Like that. And HP, for whatever reason, likes to use these tiny little things. So it's a little clip, a plastic clip that holds the uh, M.2 SSD with a screw on it. And that screw uh, then, you know, goes into that hole or any of these holes if you're using a different size SSD. And well, first of all, this is kind of a unique part in a sense that it's really hard to find. And so I, I buy from a lot of uh, IT equipment um, recyclers and, you know, a lot of places they don't really give much thought into this because they think it's just a screw. And a lot of times they're disassembling stuff and they have to get rid of the SSDs like you know, sometimes there's sensitive data or whatever, so they have to like trash that stuff. Um, they throw these screws out thinking like, oh, it's just a screw. Well, it turns out this is not just a screw. This is a very hard to find screw. And so I end up with a lot of these boards that don't have the mounting screw. And up until recently, I didn't really know what to do about that. You know, so other than this clip being kind of a unique little thing here, uh, HP also decided to use a very uh, uncommon thread size. So the thread size for the screw is 1.6 millimeters. Okay, I don't know why they chose that particular size, but it's uncommon. If you buy a normal consumer PC that has M.2 slot, it's not a M.2, um, <clears throat> a 1.6 millimeter uh, th screw thread. Instead, it's more something like this. All right, so this is an M.2 mounting uh, standoff with the screw. And this is a two millimeter. And this is actually a very, very common screw size. So if you have like a ASUS motherboard or really most other motherboards, uh, they have a more common screw size. Now, not only is this screw size re relatively uh, hard to find or the, the thread size, I mean, you can, you know, we have the internet these days, so anybody can go online and look up, you know, M1.6 uh, screw threads. But in order to mount a M.2 SSD, you have to have a standoff and you have to have a pancake uh, head screw kind of like uh, on top of here, right? And so like basically a very, very flat uh, and wide screw head. And that just makes it really, really difficult to find an alternative to this thing. And so I've had to deal with this in the past because I try to buy these things in bulk and a lot of them come without the screw. And also in a, in a lot of cases, these uh, screw holes right here, they have this, I think it's an aluminum insert in the PCB where the threads are and because it's aluminum, it's really soft. And I find that a lot of these boards have like completely stripped out screw threads. So actually what you see in front of you right here is one of those boards. Uh, I think this uh, screw thread right here is completely stripped out. So even if you do have the proper HP, you know, mounting screw thing, uh, it just doesn't work anymore. Um, so I have a lot of these boards that I can't sell because I won't sell anything that, you know, has these kind of defects and they've just been accumulating in a box. But I uh, recently found 
a solution to this and I wanted to share that with you guys in this video. I know that, you know, if you go to the HP forums, there's uh, several threads where people have asked about, well, hey, where can I find this mounting screw because this is really difficult to find. So this has been a problem. And if you, and it's not just these boards, by the way, HP for whatever reason likes to really use this thing. And so uh, if you have an HP computer, uh, very likely it has the same kind of M.2 mounting screw. Um, I know the HP thin clients also have the same mechanism. And so if those screw threads are stripped out um, or you know you lose the mounting screw, it's uh, you know it's very difficult to to solve that problem. What I've uh, come up with as a solution to this problem, so I hope this helps you guys out and anybody else who's having a problem with a similar problem with their HP machine, is that since that is a, a 1.6 millimeter uh, screw thread in here, and the more common size is a larger two millimeter. Uh, basically, you can you can drill these out to two millimeters, and then uh, tap some two millimeter threads in them. And that's what I have here. I have a drill bit and a uh, uh, a thread tap that I'm going to use today to basically uh, drill out these threads and then make them a wider two millimeter. Um, thread size so that I can fit these very commonly easily found uh, M.2 standoffs. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So, all right, so let's go ahead and the um, you know, first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of remove the PCI brackets, give myself a little bit more room um, since I'm gonna be drilling. All right, so. All right, so I'm gonna be drilling this hole here. And then these two holes are not stripped out because they're just, you know, they're very uh, rarely used. But I'm gonna drill them out anyway uh, because whoever gets this board, they're going to get this two millimeter uh, threaded standoff. So they'll be able to use it in any of the three uh, positions there. All right, so first of all, I have this um, drill bit. I believe it's just a two millimeter uh, drill bit. So let's go ahead and mount this in here. All right. So basically I'm just gonna drill out the 1.6 millimeter thread. And this is really, really soft material. So it's gonna go really quick. Yeah, just like that. So it's really not taking off much material because it's already like 1.6, right? So going to two. All right, so that's it. And then I'm gonna tap um, two millimeter threads into that. All right, this isn't the most uh, elegant or uh, proper way to do this, but it, it works. So let's go ahead and just do this here. Yeah, it looks like, all right, let's see. This really isn't the right uh, tool for uh, gripping the uh, the tap here, the, but yeah, it's not holding on to it. Hold on. Let's see if maybe. All right. Let's see. All right. There we go. I think. Okay, so that's the first, I don't know, you guys probably can't see this, but those are the two millimeter threads now. 
And so now I should be able to mount this guy in here. Right. Yep. So that's what that looks like here. Right, so I can now use that very easy to find M.2 standoff to mount these SSDs, right? And frankly, I kind of actually like these a little bit more than the, uh, the little plastic thing that HP comes with. But yeah, so, so now I have a proper way to mount the SSDs to these things, even though, you know, the, uh, the threads got stripped out. All right, so I'm just gonna rinse and repeat, um, put threads into the other two holes because, um, you know, just in case whoever gets this board wants to use a a smaller SSD. Right, and then the third one. All right, so. Yeah, this is really soft material, so it's not hard to uh, put the threads in there at all. So let me just test them out, make sure they work. Yep, that works. All right, and that also works. So, all right, so anyway, I just wanted to share this uh, solution with you guys because if you have an HP machine and you lost your M.2 mounting screw, like the one like that, well, now you have a way to uh, use a standard um, M.2 standoff and if you want the dimensions to the standoff, I'll leave it down in the video description so you guys can uh, take a look at that and then you can look it up to find them. They're very easy to find online. So anyway, I know on the HP forums, a lot of people have complained about this problem. So I'm hoping that uh, this helps some people out. All right, so anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. Really simple solution, and the the drill bit and the the two millimeter um, thread tap there was pretty easy to find. Uh, I think it was just somewhere on Amazon for a few dollars. So um, yeah, really easy thing you can do to avoid looking for one of these because these are pretty much impossible to find. But these are really easy to find. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully. Um, that helps you guys out. So anyway, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, and you like this sort of stuff, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos. Also, if you want to support my channel, like I said, I have an eBay store where I sell things like this, as well as uh, pre-flashed IT mode HPA SAS controllers for your ZFS, TrueNAS, or Unraid builds. So go check out the link down in the video description if you're doing one of those builds. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.